Monsieur Laclaw. Can I help you, madame? The representatives of the people are asking for your help, monsieur. Who exactly are you talking about? The patriots and representatives of the Third Estate who escaped the massacre. I need names, madame. Monsieur de Robespierre, Monsieur Lavoisier, the Marquis de Lafayette. All these men have declared themselves enemies of the cause to which we have sworn allegiance to. Is there any cause more important than saving the nation? No, of course not. And what do these so-called defenders of the people want from me? They believe they have found a way to neutralize the royal automats for good. And to do it, they beg you to give them one of the explosive cannonballs you invented. Ma foi. If there is a way to stop these death machines, then I have a duty to assist them. But you must understand that I shall remain on my guard. When doing deals with the enemy, you must take precautions for when the game ends. If that's how you feel, then by all means take steps to ensure your safety. Let me think. Where are the representatives? At the Couvent des Cordeliers. Very well. Here's what we're going to do. I will go to the convent immediately and try to negotiate a truce. As for you, here is the key to a trunk in the next room. It contains a prototype of my cannonball, as well as the patents and pages that explain how to manufacture it. Bring all of this to me at the convent. However, do not give me anything unless I specifically request it. Is that clear? Perfectly clear, monsieur. I will follow your instructions. Are you making progress, madame? Yes. I'm working on it. Madame, these gentlemen and I have come to an agreement. That is good news. We will resolve our differences when the time comes. The matter is settled. You can count on it, Laclou. But now it is clear that we are fighting the same adversary. Adversary? You are rather indulgent, Monsieur le Marquis. It seems that you are still fond of him, despite his heinous crimes. Oh, de grâce. Truly, the king is no more than a wild beast. And together, in large numbers, we will hunt him down. Madame, please give the model and the engineering notes to Monsieur de Robespierre. However, you shall hold on to the patents. No one knows what the future may hold. Let there be peace between you, gentlemen, for there is still much work to be done. We believe we now have a way to destroy the lanterns. Without them, the machines will no longer be able to carry out their sinister task. But it is still just a strategy which needs to be tested. And even a conclusive experiment will not guarantee our success. Where will we find a working cannon? How will we get more vitriol? How will we make more cannonballs? Please, I ask each of you to set to work without delay. Pour la nation, monsieur. Pour la nation. Pour la nation. 
pour la nation.